2C of Intro to Analysis by Rosenlicht. Um, and in this problem, we're showing a set of quality, but we're not going to show this set of quality like we did the other, others. To, to show this one, we're going to use the definition of um, the empty set. And we're just going to write that down for us to remember. The empty set is the set of elements, the set of elements that contains no elements. The set of elements that contains no elements. Contains no elements. So if we can show that A intersect the empty set is a set, or is the set, that contains no elements, then we're done. We've shown that A intersect the empty set is the empty set by definition of the empty set. So all we need to do is show that A intersect the empty set can't possibly contain any elements. So let's do that. And we're going to do that by contradiction, like we did in the previous videos. So suppose, suppose that A intersect the empty set contains elements. Any number of elements. It could, it could contain a hundred elements. It could contain three elements. All that we're saying is that it doesn't contain zero elements. <laughs> it could contain infinity amount of elements. But we're just saying that it contains some amount of elements. Um, then this implies that there exists some x that lies in A intersect the empty set. But if x is in A intersect the empty set, then by definition of set intersection, x must be in A and x must be in the empty set. But look at this. We're saying that x is in the empty set. If x is in the empty set, this is, this is absurd. The, remember, the empty set, the empty set, is the set of elements well I won't even write it down again I already wrote it down up here if X is in the empty set that that would be impossible that's a, that's that's a direct contradiction of the definition of the empty set so X can't possibly be in the in in the empty set so we've already arrived at a contradiction or we could further be more vigorous and say if X, X is in a and X is in the empty set but X can't possibly be in the empty set so X is in a and x is not in the empty set, since there's no elements in the empty set, so x can't possibly be in the empty set. So if x is in A and x is not in the empty set, then x can't possibly be in the intersection of A and the empty set. x is not in A intersect the empty set, because in order for A to be in A intersect the empty set, x must both be in A and the empty set. So we're done. We've arrived at a contradiction. We, or in fact, we, we arrived at two contradictions. We could have stopped here where we said that we, we made the statement that X is in the empty set. This is a contradiction. This can't possibly happen by definition of the empty set. So, since when we suppose that A intersect the empty set contains elements, or that is, when it doesn't equal the empty set, we arrive at a contradiction, it must be true that A intersect the empty set must equal the, em the empty set. Because... If we were to suppose that this weren't equal, then it must be that A intersect the empty set. If we were let me say it like this. If we were to suppose that A intersect the empty set uh, was not equal to the empty set, then that means that A intersect the empty set must contain elements, and that means there must be an X and A intersect the empty set, and that must mean, by definition of intersection, that X is an A and X is in the empty set. But since the empty set contains no elements, X can't possibly be in the empty set. And so this is a contradiction, and we're done.